Hey there ladies and gentlemen, the food experience is back. In today's experience, I got something really cool I ordered from Amazon. I ordered a product called Meter, which is a wireless temperature probe. Wireless in every sense. It's from Aption Labs. Let's go ahead, dive down. I'm going to show you quickly what it comes with, and then we're going to put it to work in the Caloric Max Air Fryer Oven. I'm going to cook a tri-tip on the rotisserie, and we'll see how it works. Here we go. Here's a look at the package I received when I ordered the meter from Amazon. On the side, you're going to see Aption Labs. And inside, you're going to get a little meter information guide, kind of like a manual, that type of thing. You also get a support card for how to contact their support. And they also included this wine voucher card. You got to spend 160 bucks to get $100 off. Inside the top of the box, you got some information for meter along with their social media. Then you have the meter box right here. So let's go around the box real quick. You got a little picture of the probe on this side. On this side it says wireless smart meat thermometer. Let's go ahead and turn it over and you'll have information here about how to charge, how to download the meter app, launch the meter app. You got Aption Labs and uh, barcodes right there. So inside you're going to get this wood charging station right here. I really like the wood and you'll see the probe right inside. That comes right out of the box. And let's go over this real quick. So you'll see meter at the bottom. It's like a block of wood. There's a push button right here that when you push it, the light will illuminate green if there's a full charge to the battery. It came preloaded with a AAA battery. The probe sits right inside like this. There is also a little sticker right there to prevent contact. There's a contact on this side and there's one right here that pinches together when you install the probe back in. And they say it takes about four hours to charge fully. Now let's look at the back side. On the back side, you're gonna have two magnets, one here, one here. Then there's a back panel that comes open like that. And inside, you're gonna have all their information and you have a battery, a AAA battery. This came with the device. There's a little pull thing right there to make it easy to remove the battery. It's clearly marked positive on this side, negative on this side. So when installing the battery, make sure the positive end goes down here and kind of push that in first and drop down like that and make sure that strap is below it because it makes it easy to assist removing it. And then go ahead and put the cover back on. You're good to go. And like I said, let it charge for about four hours. So let's put this thing to the test. Here we go. All right, there was a quick look at the meter. Here is the tri-tip that I'm going to cook on the rotisserie. It comes in at 1.28 pounds. Now, hopefully it works okay with the rotisserie in here. I did a two-pound tri-tip once, and it seemed like it was a little small for the forks to fit in. But I guess we're going to give it a try. All right, so there we go. Steakhouse beef tri-tip, huh? All right, let's go ahead and remove it. Yeah, that looks good. So yeah, I'm not sure how these forks are going to go in because they are spread a little bit wider than the tri-tip. I'm going to try bunching it up a little bit. But, you know, since I have two sets of these, I'm going to try bending them in. See if I could do that. Hopefully it'll work. There we go. So I got both of them bent in. And what you got to do is take the rotisserie spit and skewer it through the meat. So I'm going to try to find the dead center of this. As close as I can. And there we go. All the way through. Now let's go ahead and take one of these, put it through. A little tricky sometimes feeding those through the square. There we go. All right. I'm gonna tighten that down. And let's go ahead and do the other side. Yeah, still this part's a little bit above, and same with this one. But, I think as long as two of them go in, I should be okay. Alright, we're going to go with that. Tighten the screw down. Ideally, it would be better with a bigger tri-tip, but... I'm a family of one and I like to get things in smaller portions and I think I'll trim this part off. And I might even move this down a little bit because it's not exactly in the center. Not that it needs to be, but I'd like it to be. Yeah, let's go ahead and put the meter in. Okay, so I got the meter right here. Now it's hard to say which angle should I put this in. You want it to go through, 
so that it's kind of in the middle of the meat so that the tip of the probe is in the middle of the meat somewhere. See if I can do it this way. Yeah. And it should be sticking out just a little bit. Now I'm feeling it hit the rod that way. All right, let me try from this other end here. Yeah, I think that's better. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do is put the bake slash drip pan in the very bottom position in proofing. Then I'm gonna turn it on oven mode, leave it on bake. Uh, the tri-tip says to cook around 375, so I'll leave it there. And I'm just gonna add a bunch of time because I know these take a while to cook. That'll give it some time to preheat. Let's go ahead and start it. And I'm gonna let the max come to temperature. Once it is, then we'll go ahead and put the rotisserie in. And the reason I'm doing bake instead of air fry is because air fry blows the air down and chances are it's gonna burn the outside before the inside is done. So, I'm gonna let it go most of the way this way and when the temperature probe shows that it's near done, then I'll blast it with some air fry goodness to, you know, crispen it up a little bit. Now for the fun part, go ahead and hit the meter app and it's gonna say that there's no cook setup. So just go ahead and tap in there and it says tap to set up cook. And I'm gonna set it for beef. So one thing you need to do is go to the settings gear and set it on Fahrenheit. It defaults to Celsius. Then I'll go back, set it for other, and I kinda like it a little bit above medium rare. So I'm gonna go for medium. That's 145. Then start cook. It says to insert your meter probe. I've already done that. So I'm going to go ahead and hit start cook. And it's just giving me a warning that it should be close as possible. And start cook again. So there it is. It's uh, estimating cook time. I haven't put it in the oven yet. So we'll check back with the app once I put it in. All right, the bake light stopped blinking. Therefore, we know it's up to temperature. Now I'm going to go ahead and take the tri-tip. And let's get it to hook in there. So you want to go to the right side first and then let it drop down on the left side. There we go. Now I'm going to go ahead and close it and we're going to turn on the rotisserie. And it looks like the probe is clearing it. That's something I was afraid of is, you know, maybe the probe was set on the side too much instead of maybe next to the rod, but looks like it's going to work. It's doing its thing, and the app is starting to show a uh, temperature. It's going to take a minute for it to show up with some real information. Okay, now that things are progressing a little more, internal temperature is 85 degrees, target's 145. It says 16 minutes remaining. That's pretty quick. Uh, so far, it's been going for a little bit over 20 minutes. So you could just tap in the middle there. It'll alternate between time remaining and time elapsed. I really love this app. This app is just awesome. I'm just going to let it keep going. I want it to get close. I don't want it to burn the outside. So we're going to let it get a little bit closer. So another update. We're now at 120 degrees internal temperature. Six minutes remaining. And if you notice, these marker points right here keeps moving closer and closer as it reaches target. Ambient temperature is 470 degrees right now. 473. Um, Okay, so I got an alert five minutes before the cook ends. It's up to 122, 31 minutes elapsed. And the rotisserie's still going. Live action! There we go. And this should set it a little bit above medium rare, I'm thinking. But I don't like it to be blood red. I like it to have a little pink, but um, nothing too crazy. 131 degrees. And soon it's going to come to a point where it's going to tell us to remove the meat from the oven. One minute remaining, and what happens is when you remove it from the oven, it still continues to kind of cook internally because of the heat that it has. 135, there we go. So I got an alert, remove from heat. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the max. Let's go ahead and uh, stop the little alarm. Open the doors. Well, that looks pretty good. And then you want to use this handle right here and get it right in between. There's two slots. I'm going to get my cutting board out right here. 
and let's put it on there. And I knew I wanted to start the air fryer cycle a little bit earlier so it browned a little more, but it has some crust, but could have had more. The meter thing is showing 141 degrees. See, it's still rising. Okay, so at this point, the meter app shows that it is resting, and you want to continue to let it rest. That way it still builds up temperature. It shows internal 146. I tried it earlier with chicken breast. It worked amazing. So yeah, I mean, I'm totally digging it. And also, let's try something else, okay? I have an instant read thermometer right here. Let's see how it compares. 149, 150. 151. Yeah, 151. So it shows 151 there. I think I guessed where it is at, uh, the meter probe. And it shows 149 on the screen here. So that's pretty dang accurate, I will say. There we go. It is now ready. See that? That's too cool. All right, so let's go ahead. I'm going to go down and show you how to take this all apart. All right, first thing I'm going to do is remove the meter probe. Now, that thing could be dang hot, so you want to be careful. I'm going to hold it with a fork on one end, and you want to pull straight out. Don't pull up or down. Pull it straight out. And that's going to be a juicy tri-tip. I can see all the juice. Also, another thing to note, do not put this in cold water. Let it cool down. Get it to regular room temperature before you try cleaning it or putting it in any water. Now let's go for undoing the rotisserie screws. So I'm going to hold the tri-tip with a fork and we're going to try to undo these screws. They undo pretty easily as long as you didn't wrench them on too hard. It's amazing how I could do this with oven mitts too and these are thick oven mitts. But uh, that should do it. There's one. I'm going to hold it with a fork. And let's get the other one out. There we go. And now let's remove the spit. What I like to do is put the fork kind of below it and pull straight out. There we go. All ready to go. And look at all that juice. This is going to be a juicy one, eh? Now that it's done resting, we're good to cut into it. Let's try that out. We're going to cut it right down the center, right? Oh, look at that. That is perfect. That is almost medium rare, but more towards the medium side. So that definitely came out pretty fantastic. Let's go ahead and cut a piece. Yeah, nice and tender. Look at that. That's a thin slice. Let's cut it a little thicker. Smells really good. Oh yeah. Yeah, I mean that is cooked through and through perfectly. Look at that, folks. All right, there you have it, folks. Tri-tip is served. Boy, this is a juicy one. Let's go ahead and try it. Wow. This is some good tri-tip. So tender, so juicy. The spices on this, getting garlic, pepper, um, I think some paprika. I'll tell you what, this meter product gets a double thumbs up. KJ Andio, food experience approved. That's what I'm talking about. I'm gonna come back and do it again with the chicken. Um, not a full chicken, not on the rotisserie, but, you know, a nice sized chicken breast on the bake pan. See how that works out. I already tried it this morning. It came out fantastic. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and put the link in the description for meter. Also, I'll put the link where I got it from Amazon. They have uh, different versions available. I got the basic original version for $69. Um, they have, uh, I don't know if it's a plus version, a more advanced version. I think it has like better Wi-Fi capability and stuff. For me, the standard Bluetooth one is fine. I mean, I just leave the Android device right near the oven and it's good to go. So, yeah, totally recommend this. Perfect tri-tip. Man, it couldn't be any better or easier. Usually when you're doing rotisserie, you got to worry about temp and times and hopefully you got it right. With this, there's no guessing. You just let it get to the temperature you want. 
and you're good to go. So, with that said, if you guys have experienced the meter before, please list your experience in the comments down below. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns other than that, also list them in the comments down below. I love hearing from you guys. I really love when you interact with me on my channel. And uh, big shout out again to all the folks in the Caloric Max Air Fryer Oven Group. You guys are awesome. I'm so happy to be amongst so many people that I, you know, I almost feel like we're bonding as friends. We all share recipes and different ideas and things. And it goes to show there's not always one right or wrong way to do something. I've seen so many varying situations of people cooking things. Uh, the same type of dish, but different temps, different times, some oven, some air fry. Everyone does it a little bit differently and they get good results, you know? So I think that's pretty cool. So I think we're just about done. We're gonna tow this one out of here. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're new to my channel, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I got a lot of good stuff coming up. And with that said, I'm going to wish you all a very stellar day. Be excellent. And most of all, remember me. I am KJ Andy O, your food experience host with the most. Y'all take care, and I'll see you on another video real soon. Laters.